Hey guys, it's Annie, welcome back to the channel. So, as you can see by the title, um, I'm basically going to be reviewing my corner raise order. I'm not actually 100% sure how to pronounce it, but it's basically this brand which has um, clothing, wigs, um, that kind of stuff. Um, so, I actually ordered a wig from them a few weeks ago and it arrived a couple of days ago. So, this isn't going to be like 100% kind of, you know, your average review because I've never had a wig before. I've never worn a wig before. Um, other than that, those like one pound ones from Poundland. Um, but I've never actually had an actual wig before. So I'm not sh exactly sure how they're supposed to feel. Um, from, I already opened it. Doesn't on, it doesn't feel obviously like my hair. It's not the same kind of texture and stuff. Um, my hair is also pretty damaged. Um, so, you know, it's not my hair texture. It does feel kind of plasticky, but it is kind of what I expected. I didn't expect it to be feeling and looking like a um, wig, a wig like um, hair, like actual hair. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna show it to you guys now. So this is the wig. It is, um, this is the front. I don't have anything to hold it because it is my first wig. Um, this is the fringe. This is the side. The back. That's my hand, obviously. Um, and the other side. It is, as you can tell, an Anna from Frozen wig. It's kind of like this ginger brown color because um, you know Anna from Frozen. Pretty sure she does actually have like gingerish brown hair. Um, although I haven't watched the movie in ages, so I'm not 100% sure. Um, but yeah, so it is wavy at the bottom. It is a bit messy. Um, this is basically how I took it out. Um, this, the braid, it came in, but I'm not gonna be using it as an Anna from Frozen wig, so that is gonna come out. <laughs> um, and yeah, now I'm gonna put it on, so. That's going to be the amusing part because I don't know how to put a wig on. <laughs> Another thing is it actually came with a wig cap kind of thing. Um, I thought wig caps are supposed to be like, you know, like actual like fishnet kind of hats. But this one is like it has a cut outside on both sides. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to put my hair in this like kind of messy bun. Now I'm going to put this. It has two different sides and I'm not exactly sure which side is supposed to be the one going on the top. So this one is just the simple normal fishnet side. There, and this one has like an actual thing. Um, so I think that one goes on the bottom. So we're going to try that. Also it looks really small. It looks like it's not going to fit over my head. <laughs> oh god. After a lot of struggling, I got it on. Um, the fringe is like very messy, so I think I'd have to like style it myself. Oh my god, there is hair everywhere. Um, I mean, I gotta say, okay, other than this, and you know, I think this will be easily fixed when I take the braid out. Um, so this is what it looks like at the back on me did you get that so this is what that looks like um obviously as i said i am having issues with like this part and like pinning it at the back and just this part just not looking as realistic as it could be but my idea is we'll take out the braid and see if that makes a difference so we'll do that in a second so i took the braids out and it covers up the problematic part honestly i look like a different person i'm not gonna lie i don't really recognize myself <laughs> like look at this 
I'm wearing my pajama top, so um, just ignore that, please. Uh, but like, who is this? Like, I'm saying like a lot. I mean, I'll need to sort the fringe out because it is a bit, you know. I mean, look at this. I mean, this is personally, I don't think this is my kind of color. I don't think I'd suit this hair color. I would never dye my hair this color. But wig wise, I feel like I look like a Roxanne. <laughs> I actually look so cute. Right, um, also aside from the um, wig, I also got some butterfly, um, this hair on it, butterfly socks and they seem like really good quality. Um, I did this because um, I technically got this just because I won a contest and I won $10 off of my purchase on Corner Rays which I'll link down below by the way um, but I really wanted this wig for a few cosplays I'm not sure how they'll work out but I wanted this wig for a few cosplays and I applied a $10 um, discount but it said that I would have to pay $13 um, delivery and that was a lot so I worked out that if I spent another $10.40 something like that I'll get free shipping um, and it would come out to like, I don't know, probably like somewhere between two and I don't know, $10 less than if I just got the wig and had to pay $13 um, for the delivery. So I got these socks as well. Haven't worn them yet, but they're like this cute butterfly shape. Oh no. And they say butterfly on this side as well. Um, but yeah, overall, I'd say this wig, I mean, as I said, I didn't have any wigs before. So I can't really judge on that. It does look very shiny. Um, I'm going to have to Google how to get rid of the shine. But overall, I think it looks great. It makes me look like a different kind of person. So does the job. Um, and yeah, hopefully I'll be able to do some cosplays with it. Look how cute it looks. Ignore how messy my makeup looks. I really did it like as quickly as I could. I'll maybe give it like a 7 out of 10. Okay, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Um, but yeah, I would definitely buy from Corner Base again because there are some other wigs that I want to try um, on there. So I'll be ordering from them again and yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want to see more videos like this, comment down below. Um, what hair colors would you like to see me in wig wise? And yeah, other than that, do with passion or not at all.